All right, guys, it's Jeff back again. I'm kind of in a pub in London at the moment. Um, I'm going to try and record this without disturbing too many people. Um, yeah, I had an interesting day today. Been around um, both the London Natural History Museum and a quick jaunt around the Science Museum as well. I didn't take quite so much of that in. Um, there's still an awful lot of the natural history that I probably didn't see, but it is. Um, it's getting so busy in there, which is good that there's so many people coming to see that. See that. Um, um, particular things, obviously, that I was very interested in were, um, you know, dinosaurs, and in particular, um, some of the human evolution ex exhibits um, and human ancestry. Those are things I find fascinating. Um, I mean, you had a lot of the. Um, um, you know, from you know, hominids and Australopithecus um, sort of um, skeletons and remain fossils there, um, and um, you know, all, all the sort of different human species, and obviously us, Homo sapiens, um, um, Neanderthals, Homo erectus, Homo habilis, Homo neanderthals, just to name a few. Um, um, there's obviously Australopithecus africanus there, and so on. Um, um, so yeah, uh, my original plan was to go in there and do kind of a parody video of the Young Earth Creationist Kent Hovind um, and just kind of like going in there, you know, looking around the dinosaurs and sort of saying, well, there's no evidence these things actually existed, you know, or, or, something, or something along those lines, or, you know, well, they are drowned in the flood because of the water. Uh, that was kind of, but it's just not, couldn't find a spot in there quiet enough to do it, so, but yeah, it's uplifting to see so many people go in there, the good thing is it is free, of course can, you can make a donation, but quite uplifting to see that, at least in some parts of the world, there's a lot of people taking an in, interest in science and natural history, and, um, and it's obviously attracting way more visitors uh, than Ken Ham's art park is ever going to, so uh, that's uplifting, let alone Ken Hoven's dinosaur adventure park or whatever it is. So, Okay, so that's just a short little one for me today. Alright, see you guys later. Salute.